We have all our data layers in Inkscape now, and in this video what we'll do is we'll work on symbolizing these layers and, and changing the way they appear and the way they're ordered. So uh, let's start out by locking the base map. This will make it so I can't select it um, and move it around. I'm also going to lock the boundary imagery, uh, which if you remember that's just, I'll show you real quick, we turn all these off. Um, it's just the, the imagery clipped to the watershed boundary. And let's turn this off and you'll see it and turn it on. I'm also going to lock this. And the reason for locking this is that it will allow me, uh, if I move these other ones while I'm symbolizing them, it will allow me to, to realign them where they should be on the map. Okay, so let's turn on our heel shade. And... Uh, Let's take a look. We don't have anything in boundary clip right now. Let's turn on the boundary. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another copy of boundary. So I'm going to control C. And then um, I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to call this the drop shadow. So we're going to make a drop shadow for these things. I like the drop shadows on maps. Um, let's go drop shadow. And we'll add this, and I want to put this, uh, just move it up one, right above the base map. And so I've copied the, the boundary. I'm going to come down to, well, I'm going to select Drop Shadow and Control-Alt-V to paste in place. And so it's there now. And what I want to do with this to make a Drop Shadow, um, Let's first of all turn off the boundary, see what it looks like. There's our, there it is, there's our hill shade. So what I want to do here is I'm going to adjust the fill and the stroke. And I want to use this fill and stroke panel here, shift control F if you don't have it open already. Um, and my stroke, well, first I need to come down and select this group. And in this group, there's another group. And in this group, there's a path. So I'm going to select that path. That path is the actual data we have there. And so the fill, um, let's go ahead and just make it, let's adjust the stroke first. Stroke, we don't want any stroke. Stroke style, width zero, fill, uh, black color. And I want to make it, uh, black. So I can come in here in the palette and click black to adjust the fill of that, maybe. It's not setting the fill. Let's just, uh, zero, zero. Oh, it's because the alpha, we need to make that alpha 255. And there's our, there's our stro, our fill. And I'm going to turn my opacity down a little bit. I'm going to turn it down to about 90. And I'm going to make my blur uh, 1.5. That'll blur the edges. Okay, and now what I'll do is I will trim the heel shade back on. And I can go up here and adjust my X and my Y. Uh, notice I still have this drop shadow selected. So I'm going to move my X up a little. You can see it's shadowing that as I go. And I can move my Y up or down. The thing I want to do is I'm going to move it up so it shadows down below there, above. And so you can see I've kind of got my, my drop shadow going on there now. Um, you can adjust this to make it what best suit, what will best fit your needs or best suits your style. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to turn this DEM on over the top of the hill shade. And I like the effect we get with the DEM, but uh, the problem here is that we can't see the hill shade underneath it. And so I'm going to come down, uh, come over here to my DEM, to, to this image. I'm going to turn my opacity down um, slowly. 75, 
maybe to maybe to about 75 and you can see the effect that, that gives there so now I have my uh, I have the shadow on there I have the DEM slightly transparent uh, I will make a note that if you want to have a different colored DEM you need to change the colors for your raster layers in QGIS um, because those colors are based on data and Inkscape doesn't have access to those data uh, so if you want to show that color then you're going to have to change the color to QGIS, QGIS and bring it in if it's based on data um, and we can we can go through that in a separate video okay now let's um let's work with our streams a little bit here let's turn those streams on and they're purple I don't really want purple streams so I'm gonna select the the streams layer this group over here that has all the streams in it and um, I want to make sure I'm on the stroke paint here and I can come down and scroll through these different colors if I put my cursor over the color swatches here I can scroll just with my mouse wheel and I want to select something blue you know maybe something like this and to set the stroke you'll notice down here at the very bottom look down here when I hover over it says shift click to set the stroke if I do click it'll set the fill and I'll show you what that looks like so you can see it's filling places in between the lines so I'm going to do control Z to undo um, and if I shift click then I can change the, the actual color of those lines there so that looks like a pretty good color of blue to me um, and then if I go to stroke style I want to make that a little thicker maybe so let's bump that up and one more sure that looks pretty good and the the thing here once again with these data with the streams if your streams are colored based on data values you're not going to be able to change those in Inkscape you'll have to come in and find the the individual path for that segment to change the color and so if you want that color to come through you need to change that in QGIS and once again uh, we can go through an example with that so you can see how it's done but there we go we have the stream symbolized now okay so now I have this map I've got my DEM uh, got my shadow my uh, my drop shadow and my streams on there now I like this but my background still just isn't looking quite right I think it's a little too pronounced and so I'm going to unlock the base map I'm going to click on it and what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, drop the, the transparency down I need to come to the base map, click on the image um, fill and stroke, fill and I'm just going to drop my opacity down so it lightens the, the base map up okay so there we go now something I could also do if I wanted if I don't like the way this looks I'm going to go ahead and lock this again I may want the imagery on there and I can turn off I can turn off the hill shade and the DEM and I can turn on the boundary imagery and now I have kind of a, an imagery call out so that gives you the basic idea of how to do some of the symbolization. I'm going to put the hill shade and the EM back on there. Um, but what we don't have right now is we don't have a legend. Um, so we'll get to working on that uh, in, in a future video.